Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. I'm gonna be showing you how to do an off the mat Easter bunny today. But before I get to that, because I hardly ever record and post the same day, but I'm running a huge contest on Instagram. So I wanted to give you guys the opportunity as well. So go on to Instagram, find me. I'm The Useless Crafter. I will post the link on the YouTube account. But I'm giving away, along with Alana from Mrs. Crafty AF, uh, we're getting together just to say thank you. So you guys have an opportunity to win a Cricut Explore Air 2 Essentials Bundle. So it's the Cricut Air 2 and supplies. So um, we're, you know, really it's just for all the support that you've given us in the past and then also thanking you in advance for sharing this and tagging people. For every tag, it's an entry into the giveaway. And, um, you know, it's that opportunity to get in front of your audience and to win them over. So we're super thankful that you guys, you know, are willing to do that. And, you know, we have that moment to, like I said, to win them over and get them to follow us. And that's all we're asking for. And we know that it's a big deal because everyone asks, you know, save and like and share and all that stuff. And so we get it. But I'm hoping that the prize is great and also that you love us and think that we're helpful and so you want to share us anyway. <laughs> All right, so that's on Instagram. Let me show you the bundle too. It's so darn awesome. Oops, whoa, I went too far. I meant to do this. So like I said, the rules are simple. You have to follow the both of us and then however many tags is how many entries you get into the contest. And um, I think that's about it. Let me find you a picture of what the whole thing looks like it's pretty cool so here it is it's a lot of tools that um i have all of those on my desk but it has the knife blade that i like so much that we use to cut the foam board so all right now on to design space okay so i found this cute little guy um in design space which i love because then we can have the same file and work on the same things so all right I like him because he's in a bunch of different pieces, right? So that helps us make it seamless. Um, that's the only thing that I would be worried about is, well, let's make him 30 inches and see what we have. And I also like to zoom out so that we're not constantly scrolling up and down. So I'm a little bit worried about his face right here because you see it's not, um, it's connected to the bottom part right here. So the face is kind of long. It's from this tip all the way down to the bottom of his hands, right? So at 30 inches, I don't know how big this is. Let's look at his piece. So at 30 inches, it's 19 inches wide and 12 inches long. The 19 inches I'm not so worried about because we can remove the ears and make them separate. So by doing that, we should be able to get down some, but it still looks kind of big. I think what I wanna do is maybe take this down to 27 inches and let's see what 27 inches gives us so at 27 oh perfect at 27 he's 11 inches high so that gives us a little space to work with this although um you know what let's just contour it right now and see what we have just to make sure so we if we don't include the ears let's see how big the white portion is oh okay it's 10 by 11.3 we're perfect so 27 inches is this whole guy right mm -hmm. so let's save it so that I don't forget <laughs> Easter Bunny 27 inches and like I said um let's go into images so you can see what how I found him so when you go into images he, he I have Cricut access so if you wow Okay, <laughs> type in Easter Bunny. As I was saying, I have Cricut Access. It, so anything with the green, um, the green little tag right here is, a, is an image or a file that I can use. And so here he is right here. If you don't have it, you can still work along with me. And if you fall in love with the image, then you can buy it at the end. But it doesn't cost anything to work on the file. Okay, so first thing is let's, duplicate this because here's his face right but this time let's go to contour and let's get his ears so we want to hide this but we want the two ears um so let's see all right 
there's our two little ear pieces. Let's put it back. Okay. So we have all of our pieces. Um, the one thing that I did notice on here, which I thought was kind of different, I didn't expect this for a design space image, but look at my pink layer. My pink layer is actually huge, even though I wouldn't want to cut out this gigantic piece because it's just the ears, the cheeks, and it and his chest area. So I feel like what we should do is we should weld, or I'm sorry, slice it out so that we have just the small individual pieces, okay? So what I mean by that is I would take the ears. Let's take the ears first and hit shift and grab the, the pink background and slice. Then, because that'll give us this little cutout, so at least we have that let's then let's grab the pink and the face because we want the cheeks and let's slice that out and see what we have so we're basically slicing everything out of the pink to leave us what we want <laughs> and then let's slice out i think even the black let's click on the black hit the shift key grab this piece and slice and see what that leaves us Okay, I think this is what we want. So let's look. Okay, so we can delete this. I think, what did I just delete? No, okay, I think I'm good. All right, so. No, I'm not good. Am I good? <laughs> I can't tell. Oh, hold on. I think I deleted what we wanted. Let me undo. Don't, don't go too far. <laughs> okay, here we go. So we have, I think here I need to slice out the black. So let's grab this one. I know we're going back a little far. And let's slice. And I think this is what I want. Okay, so let's start taking him apart. Here are, oh yeah, here are our ears the cheeks and the chest area. What we wanna do is hit contour and get rid of all the things we don't need, okay? Which we don't need these little lines. So let's hide all. What we want is this, 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 and this. That's what's amazing about contour is you can quickly move around your pieces. So here is our pink basically, right? So now our pink is good, but we want to, um, we wanna separate these pieces because right now it's 15.5 by 10.2. Technically, you can cut it with a 12 by 24 mat and cardstock, but who wants to waste all of that, right? So what you wanna do with this is let's just do it while we have it fresh in our heads. <laughs> um, bring in a square, make it really big. And where's my little... Uh, interesting. I... My little icons disappeared. Like I can't make it big to stretch it out or to move it. Um, that may be a problem later, but right now we can make our square bigger just by typing in. I'm gonna make it really big. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's get the nose separated, or I'm sorry, that's not the nose, that's the chest. So. You want the, when we're slicing, you take a new shape in. So in this case, it's the square. We're covering up the chest because we're going to separate that part from the rest of this. So now you grab the two items and you slice. And remember, you can only slice two things at one time. So it's always the new shape you bring in and then whatever image you're trying to pull out. So this we can get rid of. Here is our little piece, right? And then you're gonna to wanna to do that with all of these pieces here because it's still kind of, this isn't efficient, right? This is saying, I still need a 12 by 24 mat and cardstock to cut this, even though each individual piece is much smaller. So now I want the ear in the square and only the ear, right? Because we wanna separate the ear and slice. Then um, you can take the eyes and slice or the eye, and then you still have 
Oh, design space is slow today. All right, let's do this ear over here. So I'm using the same square. There's a lot of stuff in the square, but if you look at my cursor or my mouse right here, I'm only grabbing the pink that's left over here and the square. It doesn't pick up these extra pieces and that's why it still lets me slice. So I call it kind of slicing and traffic because you have all the stuff here. So just, um, man, this is so weird to not have all the little buttons that go with it. So anyway, all of the slice results, you can just delete. Okay, so see, this is only what? 2.6 by 4.2. We can cut this with even scrap paper if we wanted to, right? Because you can rotate these and get it really, really close to each other. I can't rotate right now because I don't know what happened to all my icons. <laughs> okay, so the pink we don't need at all, right? Um, so I think we can delete that. Here is our black. Now our black, I probably would want a solid black background. So I would go to contour and hide all. Cause I like having a solid piece in the back where all my colored pieces go on top. So in this case, for instance, I'm going to put this piece uh, like right here, right? And then his ears go here and here. So you get it, we're putting all the other pieces on top of this one. Now. Let's go get our white. So here's our white. Here, if we put this guy to the back, arrange then to the back, then you can kind of see where all our pieces are. This piece is good, it's gonna be seamless. So really what we're trying to do is, you're gonna find that all our colored pieces, our goal is to make it seamless. So this right here will fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So his face is all on one piece. There's no seams. So the only seams we're gonna have, hopefully, is in our black background. Um, I think that's the case here because our biggest piece I thought was his face. So you can see, okay. Now the ears we need to separate, right? Because right now they're moving as one. So go ahead and duplicate that. And I would just put it right over on top so you can kind of see where everything is. But hit contour. On this one, we're gonna get rid of the left ear. So we're left with just the right ear and you can see it moves by itself, right? And then on this white one, we want to get rid of the right ear because we already have that and there's our left ear. So now the two are separated. So when you use contour to separate things, however many pieces you want separated is the number of copies you need. So for the ears, I wanted it to be two separate pieces, then I need two copies because one copy is gonna be the left ear, one copy is gonna be the right ear. All right, <laughs> this we don't need, so you could just delete. All right, so let's delete all the things we don't need. Um, these things we don't need, right? Right, okay, let's look at our egg. So let's ungroup the egg. Now the egg is, okay. So interesting that that the yellow is such a big strip, right? So what you can do is a number of things. Let's see, what should we do? I know, let's put the purple back, okay? And we're gonna slice the purple from the yellow because that will give us then a band, okay? So let's grab the purple and then hit the shift key and grab our yellow pieces and slice. And let's hope I'm right. <laughs> I think I'm right. I think I'm right. Okay. So let's look at, uh, oh my gosh, what just happened? Okay, let me undo that. My blue disappeared. Okay, there we go. Now, okay. So it took me back. I'm going to have to slice it again. So here's my blue. No, I didn't want the blue. I wanted the purple. Hit the shift key and the yellow and slice. And then now let's move these pieces. So here's my purple. I still always want the purple, right? The purple though, I do want it in two pieces. So let's duplicate and hit contour. And this first one, let's hide all. I, okay, I want all these little dots. So I want that top piece, right? I, uh, I don't want the bottom. There we go. So here's my top. It's gonna go like this, right? Okay. Um, 
Okay, I just wanna make sure all my pieces are there. Let's do this purple contour. What I don't want from this one is I don't want the top and I don't want all the circles that go on the top one. So I'm deselecting it. So now I'm left with just the bottom. Okay, so my bottom is good. Let's put him over here. My bottom's good, my top is good. Okay, let's look at these two. So I think with these two, I can hit contour, hide all. Yes, because what I want, oops, hold on, let's go back there. Well, we do want that, so let's duplicate that. And let's go back to this one and hit contour, and we want the top, and we don't want the bottom. Let's see if that works. Oh, we don't want, no, we don't want that, sorry. I'm confusing myself. I apologize. Okay, here is our top and our bottom, right? So it's gonna go like this, and it's gonna look perfect, except for that little piece, right? And that little piece is here. So on, on this little piece, because it's not, you see how the purple's not connected? So we weren't able to get a full yellow on that one. On this one, let's move this back a little bit, so. Let's move this down here so that the purple shows. Okay, then on this one, contour. What we want are the two little pieces, right? So hide all. I want this and I want this guy. I don't want this. Right, so this will go here and fit perfectly. Now, instead of having like two big old pieces, right? Because if you remember the yellow was gonna be humongous. So right now our purple is 12 by six, which we can rotate that and I'll fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. This same thing, we wouldn't have been able to fit it on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock before because it was so big, right? It was gonna be thicker. It was this whole piece right here. Now this one, we don't want the two pieces to be connected, so we'll duplicate it and go to contour. On this one, we wanna get rid of the little guy. So we have just this little dot over here. And then on this one, hit contour. We don't want that little guy in the bottom. Okay, so here's our yellow. Now our blues. So our blues, what happened there? That one you can just delete. I don't know what that little button is. Let's separate these two. Um, Let's bring in a shape and see. Okay, let's see, how big is this? All right, so we're gonna hope, oh, I can't make this bigger, okay. Let's make this big, oops, bigger. All right, and let's cover our bottom so we can slice out the bottom from the top. I really gave you a it feels like a little bit of an advanced tutorial because you're using everything that we know in order to make this project easier for you and for it to look better big. Uh, there's a lot of slicing and stuff. I'm kind of surprised because usually design space images are so easy to work with. But here, like you saw how the pink was and the yellow. Um, so anyway, all right, this is 12.3 by 8 point, or I'm sorry, 12.5 by 8.3. I think think we can rotate this a little bit and it will fit. I don't know if I can get this to fit. So interesting. Let's go to the make it screen. Um, we're gonna have to get rid of the, the black for now. Oh, I hate that idea. Um, sorry, I'm thinking. I wanna go to the, because my, <laughs> My unlock button is gone as well as my swivel. So I can't tell if this is gonna fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So I think what I wanna do is let's break up this piece like we normally would do with an off the mat. So let me move everything out of the way and then we'll deal with the blue at the end, okay? So I'm sorry if this is a little confusing. Okay, let's bring in our squares. So this image is um, almost 18 inches by 27 inches. So we need two columns 
and three rows, right? Because if you think of our cardstock, we're using 12 by 12 cardstock. So for to get to 18, we need 12 plus 12, right? Because um, one isn't enough, one is too small. And then to get to 27, 12 plus 12 is still only 24. You need that extra row, right? So let's bring in our first square and make it 11 by 11. Now I do 11 because I very rarely does the half inch matter. And in this case it doesn't. So, and I don't like dealing with, um, I like dealing with whole numbers and not that half inch. <laughs> so put it somewhere over here, anywhere. Then we're going to go to the position feature and we're going to round to the nearest whole number. So 13.056 becomes 13, 1.9 becomes 2. You want to do this because we want our squares, our six squares to be flush with each other. No gaps, no overlays. You want it to cut perfectly. And I like doing it on the whole numbers because when you start to shift things around, it's a lot easier to fix your mistakes or go back and do it. A lot of times we won't have any issues, but when we do, it's a lot easier when everything's a whole number, including the bunny itself. If you remember, I typed it 27 inches. I don't like using the resize button because if it was 26.538, for instance, because it looks good like that, um, if it accidentally deleted and I went too far and I couldn't redo it to bring back the black image, for instance, how would you ever do that again, right? So. You, I've had it happen so many times where I needed to go back to do something and everything's already cut up. So I couldn't, you know, like once we slice this guy up, um, you can't bring him back. <laughs> the only way to bring him back is to import, like insert the image again, make it 27 inches and delete all the colored pieces. And trust me, you're, I mean, it's going to happen. So it's just good, like a best practice to always do that so that in case something does happen, you have a backup. Okay, so sorry, that was very lengthy. <laughs> Let's duplicate this square because it's already 11 inches. Put it close by to the first one and round to the nearest whole number. So 24 and two, I'll show you the math. So this one is 13 and two, right? So that means 13 is your X coordinate. It's the one running across. Go over 13 units, go down two units. Here's the beginning of our square. So we're at 13. 13 plus 11 is 24, and we're at 24. So it all adds up. Okay, grab your two squares. So hit the shift key, grab both squares, and duplicate. These are already um, perfect with each other. So you just wanna make it perfect with the top set. So let's do that. 12.9 becomes 13, 13.1 becomes 13. Let's duplicate this set as well. And let's put it down here, okay. So 13.1 becomes 13, 24.1 becomes 24. We have six perfectly flush squares with each other. So scroll down to get our black image. Here he is and arrange send to the front. You wanna make sure that you're not slicing anything crazy. Like for instance, I'm gonna zoom in just so that we can see it, okay? What you don't want is something like this because the little tips right here of the shell is gonna be cut off. It's gonna be small. You have to keep track of it and then you gotta tape it down. We don't want that. We want six big or sizable pieces, right? So what we would want is maybe something like this so that this, this tip is part of a bigger piece. With the way this looks, this is gonna be six big pieces that are easy to deal with. So let's zoom out and slice one square at a time. So let's take this top corner and slice. So while we're slicing and making our way all the way around, I will give you four tips. <laughs> what I like to do with this image is when we're done, I like to take off all the six pieces and put it back together so that you just have it. Like the black, when I'm using regular black cardstock, it's hard to tell top side from bottom side. And when I take it off the mat, sometimes I flip it over. It's just easier to know where the shapes go and which side is up. It's a lot easier that way, I promise. <laughs> Let's grab here the last one to slice. Okay, once this is sliced, this is what I'm talking about. Move it over so everything is in place. So these are nice six big pieces, right? This we can delete. 
All right, let's hope I can save this and it doesn't do anything crazy. Okay, awesome. Let's go to make it so we can see what it looks like. Now, I always use a 12 by 24 mat. Just click OK on this. Um, I use it even if I'm cutting like a small little thing because it's the cheapest mat to buy. So I buy it in bulk on the Cricut website. Um, I promise you off brand or not, it's the cheapest buy. So, and if you're gonna be using this long term and if you can, I highly recommend you buying it when the bulk goes on sale. It ends up being, I think it comes out to be like $2.50 per 12 by 12 inches because you can flip it around. You don't have to use it as a 12 by 24 mat. I use it with just 12 by 12 cardstock. That is the majority of my paper crafting is with 12 by 12 cardstock. All right, I'll stop talking about that. <laughs> okay, here is our white. Here are our ears. I'm wondering if the ears will fit in to the other page. So let's click on the three dots, move object. In case you didn't know you could do that, you can. We're gonna put it with the face and hit confirm. And you just wanna make sure we turn this thing around. Let's see, flip it like, no, I want it like this. Let's see. Oh, it's so, it won't fit. Okay, so click on the three dots. I had to try, move object. I know visually I'm really bad about that stuff. Okay, <laughs> put it back on the regular map, but this is a good exercise to show you how to move things. Now, I didn't like the way they had it originally like this. I would want to make it probably something like this because I try to keep most of my scraps um, or you could do something like this. It just depends on the scraps that you have, right? Maybe something like this. If that, if you had a slender piece, whatever, however you need to do it. Okay, let's look at our yellow. So our yellow, let's move these over. I'm gonna assume that we only have 12 by 12 cardstock, right? If you remember in math, we can go diagonally and fit more. So I'm switching, I'm, I'm shifting it and then moving it up. And sure enough, look, we're above the 12 line. So you can cut this, even though it says a 12 by 24 mat, you could just use a 12 by 12 mat and put your 12 by 12 cardstock on and it will cut fine. Don't worry that it says 12 by 24. Let's look at this one. This one, the same thing. I'm going to rotate it and make sure it fits. And sure enough, it fits, right? Now the blue, I'm not sure if it's gonna fit. So let's rotate this and see what we have. Oh man, I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, our blue, we're gonna have to slice it up a little bit. It's too long. So we'll go back to the other screen. I think what I would do is I would slice it right here in between. So the slices, it's as minimal as can be, right? Um, I think that's the way I would do it. Um, let's look at the other piece and see if, if this piece is saveable. So on this one, okay, so this one is fine. This one will fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So at least there's that. Let's look at the black pieces and then we'll go back to that other piece. So this still has some space, so if anything fits there, I think we can move this one. Let's click on the three dots, move object. All right, let's see if I can make it fit. I feel as if it would fit here. I could be wrong. Okay, <laughs> I made it work. All right, so it fit there. Um, I wonder if this piece could fit over here. Let's try it. Three dots, move object. And you might be thinking, she's so off her rocker. <laughs> um, let's click on this one and see. You may be able to see it, but I can't see it. Okay, yeah, no, that's not gonna fit. <laughs> Click on the three dots, move object. Oh my gosh. And I'm actually very good at math, but spatial um, 
concepts are really hard for me to see. Okay, so I'm gonna move that one. I wonder if I can fit it here. I'm gonna try one more, I know. No, no way, huh? What was I thinking? No, that's not gonna fit. Okay, <laughs> click on the three dots, move object, put it back on its piece. So you can see how you can move these things around. Very, very easy. Okay, let's look at the purple. I think our purple is good. We're gonna do this, turn it, turn it some, don't turn it too much because it'll undo itself. Yeah, so this will be above the 12 line. You're good here. Let's see this one. So this is a big bunny. I mean, he's 30 inches. He's gonna be right up there next to your toddler. Um, great decor piece. We'll put it on a foam um, board so that it can stand propped up against the wall or the table. So you can have a nice Easter decor um, and that would look really cute. It will photo really well. If you can see the sugar skull back here, and I'm gonna try to have another piece back there. Um, they come out really, really well. Okay, so we know we have a problem with the one blue piece, so let's cancel. Um, so our blue piece is going to have this one. Mm, it's gonna have a seam. So I'm almost wondering if you wanna go with a darker color on this one, and I'm, uh, yeah, let's slice it right there and see what we get. So let's bring in a square, and I may have a problem slicing it this way because I'm not able to rotate anything. Okay, let's make this 11 inches so it's bigger. Actually, let's make it 15. Okay, so normally I would rotate this and have it cut, cutting across right here, but right now it's not letting me do that. So let me see if I can rotate this 45. I need to rotate it a little bit more, maybe 60. No, I wonder, okay, there. So something like this, I think that will cut across. So let's grab this. I mean, just keep in mind, this is normally not how I would do it, <laughs> but I'm limited with my resources right now. <laughs> I don't know what happened to all my buttons. Okay, perfect. So this is one piece, this is one piece. So here is our blue. It's 11.6 by 6.3. So you know when we rotate that, that will be fine. This one is 13.1 by 6.7. Again, that should be fine as well. And you can kind of see this is where your seams are gonna be. Yeah, that's just the way it is. So I would I would do a dark glitter co color for this one. Um, I know you want to maybe stick with this color, but I would do a dark blue and then do lighter colors for this and that will look really good. Okay, so we can get rid of this and we are done. So let me save this. Thank you for your patience and don't forget today and tomorrow. So the contest ends Feb Sunday, February 28th, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All right, bye guys. Oh, and give me feedback. Let me know what you think. Even though this, <laughs> this was such a crazy project. Okay, I still wanna hear it because for next time I will incorporate it, I promise. All right, bye guys.